Dear students, today we are going to discuss about the pass one algorithm of linking loader. In the previous topic, previous class, we have discussed about the machine dependent features of loader. In that we have seen what is relocation, program linking and then what are the data structures and algorithms used by the linking loader. Data other three things relocation program linking data structures we have discussed over there here we are going to discuss in detail about how the pass one algorithm of linking loader it works and we are going to see here now so the what is the main role of the linking loader is assign address to all external symbols we know that we are having two types of external symbols that is external definition and external reference. So to assigning address to all the external symbols are the main task of the link pass one algorithm of linking loader. Only processes header record and defined record. We know we are having multiple records header record, text record, end record, modification record, defined record, refer record all. But it is going to process only header record and defined record. And because it is going to define the external symbols, assigning address to that. And builds an external symbol table. Like the pass one algorithm of assembler builds a symbol table. Like that here, the pass one algorithm of linking loader builds an external symbol table. That, that is EST TAB that contains name, address and in which control section the symbol is defined. These three informations will be there in the external symbol table. Next is another control structure used here is program load address. So the beginning address in memory where the linked program is to be loaded. That should be supplied by the OS. OS only the operating system only it is going to provide this start program address load address. Control section address. Because we know in a program there will be a multiple control sections. Initially, the program address is same, the control section address, starting first control section address is same as program load address. But the CS address is added to all relative addresses within the control section. That should be done. Now we will see the algorithm. Before that, we are having that how the symbol should be added in external symbol table. That is, it will be added the control section name along with the control section address that both the things will be added into the external symbol table. So that control section name where it is going to get means we will get it from the header record and if the first control section is going to control first what is the address of first control section it is the address of the program load address that both are same first control section. When a e record is encountered we read the next control section e record is encountered means end of the control end of the thing is reached so it will read the next control section. Then CS address equal to how we can find out the next control section address starting address of the current control section plus the length of the control section will give the uh, that uh, address of the next control section. And then next we are having we have to deal with the external definition that will be added into the symbol table name and then control section address plus value in the record together it will be added into the external symbol table get ext df from where it is going to get that external definition from defined record because defined record will contain both references and external uh, definition both will be stored in the defined record so this external symbol table can get the information from the defined record now we will see the algorithm we know that program address from where it is going to get the program load address from the operating system. Initially the program load address itself it is assigned to the control section address both are same okay while not end of input if end of input is reached the operation will be over so until that the following operation should be performed it will read the next input record okay if the records for control sections it will read then set CS length that is control section length that it is going to set and search external symbol table for control section then once uh, charge the project will check whether the control section is there in the external symbol table or not name if it is already there means that indicates a duplication it will set an error flag if it is not there means that will be added into the symbol table enter control section name into symbol table with value csa address that is control section address 
then it is going to process that thing until that end of end record is reached so it will read the next record if record type is d means the d only it contains external definitions and external references d means for each symbol in the record do it will search the external symbol table for sim table uh, symbol name if it is found means there is an error flag that is duplicate symbol if it is not found means that the symbol is entered into symbol table with control section address plus indicated address okay this operation will be performed until the end record is reached okay while that is equal to e then finally how that uh, uh, address of the next control section should be calculated means the current control section length control section address plus the control section length gives the starting address of the next control section so this operation should be done by the pass one algorithm as linking loader so the main thing is defining the symbols and then uh, uh, the main thing is assign addresses to external symbols and constructing the external symbol table this is the main task of pass one algorithm of a linking loader in the next class we are going to discuss about what is the uh, role of pass two algorithm of linking loader thank you